the mainstream media immediately, you know, the mediates the world, uh, the the media matters. It's all of a sudden, you know, we're conspiracy theory guys, we're kooks um, that we're talking about, uh, you know, keeping people away from this tremendous vaccine that saves so many lives. A few moments later. Now, I'm not saying, frankly, I think it probably does have some integration at some levels with the human genome because these vaccines are honestly they're they're the antichrist of all products so i think it probably does but i'm not saying it does i'm saying that they themselves have said you should test for it and it hasn't happened and they've provided no proof that it's happened and that's that's so wrong you know it's just complete disrespect to the human genome and the importance of protecting it and preserving it and that is our connection to god you know, science stuff, <laughs> the antichrist product. And we need to preserve the relationship between our genetic material and the creator of the universe. Look, that's a conversation on Steve Bann's podcast. And that sort of conversation would bother me as a person who cares about COVID and doesn't want more people to die as we race into this massive wave of COVID that we're in, regardless of who the guest is. But do you know who that guest is? That is Dr. Joseph Ladapo. The Surgeon General of Florida talking about the Antichrist and the relationship between vaccines and God. Now, look, he has said a lot of crazy stuff for a really long time. He seems to think that his job is to spread conspiracy theories about the vaccine that are immediately disproven and then move on to other absolute nonsense. But I will remind you all that there is like there are consequences to this. As of right now, Florida has experienced 87,141 deaths from COVID. And they will almost certainly experience more thanks to this new wave, in particular, thanks to the JN1 variant, which has now become dominant. And the chief guardian of their health in the state believes that the most important consideration is the religious sanctity of your genetic material. Brett, what do you think? Putting the words religious sanctity that close to genetic material has severe like come here altar boy vibes and I don't like that. Um, yeah, God. Just, no, I don't like what you just please, said either. Please do not anoint me with that sacred fluid, your ah. honor, whatever you call priests. Anyways. Your uh, honor? So I, I you do my... not call priests your honor. Your honor? No, you don't say that. Oh, it's some, oh, you're right. It's something, it's something less weird like father. That's, your guess was that's so like funny. Saying, oh, your baby, Regency? during intercourse. It's like, I feel like we need other words. Let's say something else. Oh, daddy. That's what it's like. It's like, this is, sure. oh, romantic partner. Oh, sweetheart, mm-hmm. which itself is disgusting. Um, in other ways, if you have diabetes. Uh, for this, I, my arc of watching this guy's answer was like, maybe he's just using the word antichrist, you know, to, to it, so people understand how bad it is. Cause I'll be like, oh my God, oh, the, you know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's the antichrist. Like, I'll just say that. But then at the end, when he buttons it up with like, and the sanctity of our religious or our our genetic material as it pertains to God. It's like, oh no, he was being literal about this being an affront to Jesus. And for all the right wings talk about how they put, they politicize things. This guy has politicized the attorney general's office of an entire state full of people who are frequently elderly. It's a very popular retirement destination. And I think that itself is an affront to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as well as Zeus and Poseidon. Yeah, and I think that all of the Your Honors should step up and speak out against this. By the way, I think I think you meant the Surgeon General, but but yes. Oh uh, yeah, it, Surgeon it General is utterly yeah. ridiculous. Thank you. Um, and although there is no need to try to engage with the substance of what he had been talking about with Steve Bannon, um, the substance such as it is is the idea that the vaccines contain billions of floating DNA fragments. And his point is that the CDC doesn't test for this thing and he thinks that's insane. And think about the, to, to Brett, you like to talk about a bag of tricks. Here's a fun trick. You make up a thing and then say that it's crazy that you don't test for the thing that I just made up. Yeah, Like they do not test for unicorn droppings in mRNA vaccines. Did you know that? They don't at all. It's utterly ridiculous. Um, but we shouldn't have to make the case. I think that he discredited himself perfectly fine on his own. Okay. 
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.